guys can't tell, the weather behind me is very foggy, raining, and quite frankly, very cold. So, <laughs> I can see my breath actually. So, on a days like this, I thought it would be appropriate to make you guys a Photoshop tutorial. Uh, it's been it's been something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I haven't been uh, I haven't been able to make up my mind what type of photograph I wanted to edit in Photoshop for you guys. I finally did. So, without further ado, guys, we'll get into the uh, the night and day Photoshop tutorial. It's very simple: night and day, one side day, one side night, whatever. Tutorial. Here it is. So it's probably worthwhile to mention that I'm not using a MacBook Pro to do my video edits or uh, Photoshop edits. I'm actually using an Asus computer with an Intel Core i3 and Intel HD graphics. So although it's not a MacBook Pro, for what I use it for, it does a perfect job and holds up completely fine for what I need. Here is the final product what we're going to be doing today. A uh, very simple photograph to make. It's very easy, and I'm pretty sure any beginner could pick up Photoshop, watch this tutorial, and walk away with an image that looks very similar to this. Um, yeah. So um, this is the base photograph I'll be using here. This is some road out in Nevada. Yeah. So it's, it, it's a daytime photograph, and that's what you want. You want a daytime photograph. You don't want a nighttime photograph, and I'll tell you why in a second. And then you go on um, a night photograph of either the Milky Way, star trails. Um, maybe a moon, yeah. So I'm going to be using the Milky Way, it's pretty classic. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start off with this photograph here. Um, the reason I want it daytime is because I can take a daytime photograph and make it look nighttime, but with a nighttime photograph, I can't open it up and make it look daytime. I need it to look daytime and make it look nighttime. So you can see here, this is the daytime photograph here, and it looks nighttime over here. Now this was just this photograph edited to be blue and desaturated so it looks like nighttime. Yeah. So I'm going to drag this lock off of this right here. Just remove the lock. I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate this layer. You can also drag the layer down onto this thing, duplicate it, but we're not going to be doing that. Um, so we can now toggle these layers on and off. And so yeah, this layer's on top of this one. So we're going to go into channels. <coughs> excuse me. Um, <coughs> uh, excuse me. We're going to go into channels, deselect everything except blue. And you have this black and white image here. We're going to drag it down and duplicate it. And now we're going to go to image, adjustments, and we're going to invert. Okay? Very simple. Now we're going to go to levels. And this is like if you're select, this is the same idea as if you were selecting a tree. Uh, you would just be inverting it. So we're going to go something like this. Actually, you know what? I forgot to do what I What I did last night is I tip you typically invert it, but on this one, I didn't have to invert it. And you'll see why. Let's go to levels, and we're going to play around with these three sliders here. So we're going to drag this one to the right here. Yep, and we're going to drag this one a little bit, like so. And we'll hit OK. So now we have the mountain range pretty much selected back here. And we're going to use this tool here. This is the um, the dodge tool. And up here it says highlights. So we're going to put that in midtones. Make sure your exposure value is 100%. And we'll just paint over this photograph like so. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be doing much, but we'll see why we do this. Because it's just it, it, anything that's white, that's, it thinks not supposed to be white, it'll fix it. And so yeah, pretty simple. Now we're going to uh, take the brush tool here and holding Alt and right clicking, we can drag it um, sideways to make it bigger and up and down to make it harder or softer. So we're going to now paint uh, white on the sky. So we're just going to flip this around and say white. And we can just paint this. Uh, make sure your flow is at 100% and your opacity is at 100% too. So you just paint white, and it fills it in very quickly. And so yeah, this is going. This this uh this step takes the most time, but you need to get this done, and it'll look good. You're gonna now invert this. You're gonna either hit X, or just click this button here. And yeah, so you're gonna paint in black on the road because we want everything that black is gonna stay there, and everything white is not gonna be there. So we want the road, but we don't want the sky, and I'll show you why we don't want this. Now, it, it doesn't make sense right now, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. So just do what I'm doing here. Um, I have, you can use the images, uh, these are the images I have here. Now, these aren't my own images. I'm just showing you as a purpose of demonstration. Uh, I'm not selling these photos and not copywriting them in my own way, so it's completely fine for me to do that. I'm just... As long as I'm not selling the photographs, 
I am good to use them how I want to. Okay, so now that we got a pretty decent selection here, I think that we can just hit, um, can we select everything here? Boom. And we'll just hit this marching ant button. It selects the sky. Make sure to turn off your blue channel, otherwise it's going to make your thing look red because it selected the mask. So yeah, now we'll jump back into layers and we'll open up the Milky Way photograph. So now that we're, um, we have this uh, as a selection here, um, we're going to take this photograph, we're going to drag a lock off of it, to drag and drop in the trash, and we're going to hold this down. We're going to just uh, click on this layer and drag it over to the layer we want to drop it on top of. Very simple. You just drag and drop. Um, a lot of people have a hard time figuring out how to move one layer on top of another. Uh, I know that was something I had a hard time with when I first started using Photoshop, but boom, you just do it like that and it works fine. So as you can see, this Milky Way photo is actually really large. It's a uh, 4K image. So yeah, we're going to make a selection here. We're going to cut, and you can see the sky is now selected and the ground is, yeah, so this ground is uh, everything, the sky of this original photograph is non-selected and the sky is removed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this photograph here, we're going to unselect it from this chain, so we're just going to click on this chain here and we're going to click on this photograph and now we can move this, oh, oops, uh, deselect the chain and we can move this photograph anywhere we want to and it's going to stay behind the mountain. So we're going to hit control T and what control T does is it allows you to shrink it. So I'm just going to hold shift and shrink this to a size where it looks pretty decent. So this is an original 4K photograph of the Milky Way. Uh, it was actually taken by some photographer from National Geographic. But again, I'm not using his photograph as my own copyrighted material. Don't, don't do that, um, by the way. So don't get me in trouble for saying, well, I watched him and he said I could do it. No, I'm not saying you can do that. Use photographs, but don't sell them as your own personal property. Do it to impress your friends. Why not, right? Okay, so something like that is what I did before. Um, yeah, so we kind of want the Milky Way to be split across the sky. And I just want this to kind of be the Milky Way as the night sky and then the original daytime on the other side. So boom, we'll hit enter there. And now we have the Milky Way in all of its glory and the road in all of its glory. And it looks really good. So what we're going to do now is... We can, we can get rid of this layer here, which we will. We just get rid of that layer. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this layer here. I'm going to use the pen tool. And I'm going to draw from right. like So I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to draw a line across it until this line lines up with the middle of the road. Like right here, I want it to come across it. Um, so you'll see what we'll just do. We'll do something like this. So as you can see, the line is now coming across the road and right there. So now you can see we kind of split the difference between two photographs with this line. So I'm just, we'll now just draw this in here. Now every time I click, it's making a selection. So it's going dot, 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 okay? And now to, to actually make this a selection, just click on this. We'll click on our starting point here. And we'll hit make selection. I'm sorry for some reason I'm not having trouble there, but now you can see we've made a selection of this area here. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit a new layer. We're going to merge these layers together. Merge layers. Okay. Now we're going to apply a cut tool here. And we're just going to cut this. So now you can see. Um, yeah, so we're going to drag this back. somewhere like that and we'll come up here on this layer and we'll cut it. So now we have a day and night kind of Photoshop thing here. So now now that I've got this layer selected here and it cuts across the sky at like a 45 degree angle, I'm going to select this layer here and once again with the pen tool, 
I'm just going to draw here and try to line up uh, this line like so. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm going to make another selection here. Why is it being such a difficult? Make selection here. Okay. So now we've got the selection here and we're going to control J this layer and this is automatically going to crop this and look at this. So now you can't tell originally but look what we have. Yeah, so we have a duplicated layer of that one and it just sits right here and you can't even tell. So when it goes back to normal this looks like part of this photograph. Yeah, so now you see what I'm going here. We have the slice across this road and without this it just looks the same but without the bottom layer we have the sky and the road. Yeah, so we're going to go into this layer, we're going to hit filter, camera raw filter. This is going to be a very simple, uh, very simple. We're just going to uh, drop the exposure a little bit, add some blue to the photograph, up the clarity a little bit, up the contrast a little bit, um, and drop the saturation. And a little bit more blue. Now you kind of make this, get this to where it looks like a night photograph to you. That looks about good. And we'll hit OK. So now look at this. It looks like a night photograph, but it's not. It's not a night photograph. It just looks like one. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, without this, it looks like this was all one photograph. And now with this, it starts to look like this is day, this is night. Very clear line. So I'm going to now use the pen tool once again. However, I'm going to be doing it on this layer here. Not, uh, not the uh, Milky Way, but it's crop layer here, the layer mask. So I'm just going to draw this like this, draw kind of a line in between it. Yeah, like this. And we'll make a selection. Okay. And I'm going to say edit, fill. Now because it's black, this layer is hiding black, we're going to fill it with white. We're going to go to 60% opacity. We're going to hit OK. So now, um, yeah, so now that layer is gone and it starts to look a little bit more realistic. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. So what I've done now is I have pretty much just kind of softened the edge on this side here so it kind of fades into the color which I'm going for. So now, now that we have the photograph pretty much like this, we we'll just hit Merge Visible Layers. And this is going to lock everything down into one layer. So if you turn everything off or on, it just looks like one single photograph. And that's what we want. So we're going to come up here to Camera Raw Filter. And the editing on this is going to take a little while. So I don't know if I'll walk you through the whole thing. It's going to be kind of painful. But um, I think something like this crossed here. And obviously we're going to drop the temperature, drop the exposure a little bit. And like this. So what we're going to start doing now is we're just going to try to fill a gap in here. Kind of want it to fade into a little bit. So you'll see. It, it, it's very simple. It just this time this part of the photograph takes a while just to get it to a point where I like it. So I'm going to do a time lapse so you guys can watch it on the time lapse. Um, yeah, so here we go. Alright guys, so to keep this video shorter, I have pretty much just uh, done the minimal editing on this photograph. If I was making this for a client or something, I would spend a lot more time on it. So I've been in here like 5 minutes editing uh, in the camera raw filter. But you can see before and after, we have a major difference. It just looks so much better. Um, 
Yeah, we'll hit OK. And now it's going to render it. There you go. Day and night photograph. So you can see on this one, I spent a lot more time feathering in the difference between this and this. But, you know, in the time I had to make this video, I kind of, I wanted to keep it shorter than, I spent like an hour on this photograph editing last night just so I could be ready to make this video tutorial today. So yeah, um, pretty much a very simple um, photograph tutorial. If you guys like this photograph, uh, this uh, Photoshop tutorial, please give a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, very simple, very easy to do. If you learned anything from this, I'm glad you did. And I think I did my job in at that point. So if you guys enjoyed the uh, tutorial, please give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos weekly or maybe every other week depending on how my schedule is. So I am in school. I can't produce videos like um, every day. I try to do every week to be consistent. So if you guys subscribe to me, that helps me out. Uh, I'll produce more videos. Again, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Have a good week. I'm going to go sit by the fire inside.